The power shift transmission on this Axor jerks when changing gears while moving forwards. This can mean that the clutch push rod is not set correctly. Before you can check this, you must first remove the clutch setting element. Raise the Axor. Now you can easily access the Axor's underbody. Before beginning with the work, release the system pressure from the compressed air system. Now you can remove the clutch setting element as described in the WIS document. First, disconnect the connectors. Then onto the mounting for the compressed air line. Then the entire compressed air line. And finally the hollow bolt. The bleeder plug is located on the left hand side of the clutch setting element. Loosen this a quarter turn. Now you can remove the clutch setting element. Now the clutch push rod is exposed, which you have to inspect. For this inspection, you require this adjusting device. It indicates whether the ram is set too short or too long and not secured according to specification. Attach the device to the transmission housing. The locking screws are only tightened by hand. Now test whether there is any play between the ram and the adjusting device. In the case of our vehicle, the ram is set too short. So now it needs to be set correctly. Remove the setting device again. Then pull the ram out of the clutch fork. Now you can loosen the lock nut located on the ram. Once you've loosened the lock nut, you can reinstall the ram. Now attach the adjustment device again and turn the ram until it touches the adjustment device without a gap. Now remove the adjustment device again and remove the ram once again. Now you have to secure the ram again. Ensure that you do not change the position in which you have set the ram. Then you can reinstall the secured ram again. Now you can also reinstall the clutch setting element. This is simply the same procedure in reverse order. Ensure that you use the locking torque specified in the WIS document. Now lower the vehicle again. Now you have to refill the air storage to 10 bar. To do this, simply start the engine and let it run. We recommend that you recalibrate the transmission using the long calibration process. To do so, first switch off the ignition to put the control units into sleep mode. Wait until the display has gone black. Now simultaneously press the neutral switch and the function switch on the transmission. Hold down the switches during the entire calibration process. Now put the key into the ignition and turn it to position 2. The clutch cylinder calibration process begins. You must start the engine as soon as the N lights up on the display. The calibration continues. At the end of the calibration process, the gear display once again displays a large N. This indicates that the clutch cylinder has successfully completed the calibration.